Here's your forecast from the first alert weather team. Gabe Ross in with you this afternoon. A pleasure to have you alongside. Let's talk about some sunset benchmarks, shall we? Today, the last of the 827 sunset. Significant because this is our latest sunset of the year. And from now, pretty much all the way to August 13th, that's on a Tuesday, we'll have the last 8 o'clock sunsets rolling through. And if you're curious, yes, September 27th is the last 7 o'clock. Then you get to what the first Saturday in November and then guess what? That's the old time change setting the clocks back an hour. So we go from six o'clock sunsets to five o'clock sunsets on that Sunday. Plenty of time to take advantage of the long daylight. It's OK, but boy, some scorching temperatures lower and middle 90s for highs this afternoon. Inland a lot warmer heat index values up around 105, so it's triggered a heat advisory. Barely dipping into the upper 70s for tonight, partly or mostly clear. Rain chances keeping a slim profile only about 10 to 20 percent, but I do want to caution you some of these pop up showers and storms could dump a lot of rain, so something to be well aware of. Your WECT First Alert weather app will help you keep track of those showers as they develop. To downtown Wilmington we go. Our Bob King GMC First Alert Skycam high atop the Murkison building. As we pull in the stats from ILM Airport, it's already 92 degrees with a feels like temp of 102. Dew points have only gone up since this morning, now at about 74. So it's part and parcel while we have the heat index values where we do. It's a little cooler along the coast. That sea breeze helping a little bit. Inland, those heat index values up above 104. Five in some cases, like Lumberton, even pushing 110 for spots like Clinton in Sampson County. Let's scrutinize things hour by hour, shall we? Temps falling back into the 90s, into the 80s. It's still going to feel much warmer than that come 10 o'clock tonight. So at this point, we're past sunset and getting you to just before sunrise, 6 a.m. First thing tomorrow, upper 70s air temps feeling like the lower and middle 80s, feeling well above 100, even 105. So that could trigger another heat advisory for tomorrow. Hasn't been issued yet, but if it does, you know that we'll be the first to tell you about it. Satellite and radar composite, uh, for the most part, pretty uneventful, right? Okay, yeah, not looking too bad. As noted, some pop-up showers and storms be the big thing to watch for, but lots of dry time in between the next 24 to 48 hours. But yes, some of these clusters could be a little bit on the heavy side. I think some additional cloud coverage is likely by the time we get to Sunday, but still just a stray shower or storm would be what to watch for. There's the latest on barrel 85 mile per hour winds. It has weakened substantially, but notice it's got plenty of warm water to work with, so I expect a little little bit of strengthening as we head through the weekend. A landfall again possible either in Mexico or South Texas as it weakens uh, on shore once again and elsewhere in the tropics. Happy to say no additional storm formation expected here in the next seven days. Your planning forecast goes out 10 days here on TV. Mid 90s to low 90s and growing rain chances came ahead of our next system. So we'll watch out for that. Notice the middle and end of next week. Rain chances around 50 50 and that kind of coincides with our next sounds of summer. So as you can imagine, we'll be scrutinizing that forecast very carefully as the time gets closer. Well, I don't want it to impact that, but right. I do want to see some rain because the drought conditions are just seem to be expanding and getting worse. Yeah, they just released that data Wednesday because of the 4th of July holiday yesterday. And yeah, moderate to severe drought across parts of the Cape Fear. So we really do need the rain when we get it. It helps, but remember, yeah. we've got to keep that tally up as the days goes on. So these dry stretches not helping us out. Right. All right, Gabe. Thanks very much.